The Magic of Christmas is here on 107.7 FM Music for Life. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> Great to have you on board. Nigel Nicholson is my name. And I've got some rock stars in the building, in the building. The, the president of the Red Man Association. And also the queen of Bacchanal. Queen of all Bacchanal. Good afternoon, Rome. <laughs> Good afternoon, Destra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you guys this afternoon? Well, I'm good. I don't know about Rome. Rome, how are you feeling? That's you good? From all the cakes she had for her birthday. Yes, boy. I That's haven't true. eaten all of it. I just we taste. We a slice of an Yeah, no, yeah, not even a slice. I, I know. But, but it's only yesterday. I only now see any and we virtual. So, you're my push it through the screen. I'll pass it later. <laughs> Rome, pass, 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 okay, don't worry, sir. I called Destra yesterday and she let the phone ring out in the room, boy. <laughs> now what? For real, no. <laughs> no, man. No, I'm just playing, that. I'm just playing. Listen, <laughs> yesterday that phone was crazy. I can you know imagine. how much calls bump off other calls and text bump off text and all people tell me that same thing today. I could only imagine. So how did you enjoy the birthday yesterday, Destra? <laughs> It was really, it was great. Um, I, I want to say I was surprised um, in terms of, of how good it was because, I mean, I know we're in COVID, we can't really have a party or whatever, but my family came over, um, my immediate family, that is, and I ended up having a nice dinner under the stars outside, wow. which I've never done before, you know, so that was kind of cool. And the cakes, obviously, was also a surprise, you know. I got a, one of the, the best ones was from my fans. So that was really nice the way how they, you know, they took the time to do that with one of my songs. It was a creative cake with, you know, wine of the century and they put the picture on it. So that was really nice. And I, I was supposed to go live with my fans yesterday, but then I ended up in a private back in Asian Zoom, mm -hmm. just, you know, talking to some of my other fans <laughs> today. The, the call. <laughs> ah. yeah, what the call, you the <laughs> what just said, Rob? The what? I thought she said she ended up in a private zest or not. I'm going to say, what? Oh, my God. Boy, clean the air, Dad. Clean the air. You see, they like to put that straight back now, but I, I really hope, and I'm glad that you had a, I'm glad you had a fantastic time yesterday, Destra. Before, before I move on to Rome, Destra, tell me about that, you know, well, you, you completely stopped the internet yesterday. Oh, Lord. The amount of screenshots well, you know, I... I got. The amount of screenshots I got. <laughs> hey, you see, Destra? Boom. <laughs> well, after all, it's my birthday. Yes. So all eyes on me. Yeah. All eyes on me. All the time. You know, and plus two, I like to cross Bacchanal. You know I that? know, Queen of Bacchanal. You know, you know, I live for it. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, I live for the moment when people are saying, you ain't see Destra, the same thing. Or, look, Destra, do this. I, like, I love this. <laughs> I live for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy belated birthday, darling. I'll be passing for some cake. Thank tell, you, my love. Tell Brian to package it for me. Of course, I'm packing it as soon as I come up here. Rome. Well, you you are always here. What I want to find out from you specifically, Rome, is that you know, mm. I know Christmas time is your time, as it relates to you know all your Christmas gigs and so on. Is it that? have you started to get bookings yet and will they be well well not will but they will be virtually uh how is that going for you around this time i mean this is a, a crazy year for all of us especially in the entertainment sector we all feel an pinch is is tough because we were the first to be shut down and we're probably going to be the last to reopen, reopen. Yeah. so christmas is a time for me usually i am singing every weekend and and there's a different christmas so now everything is virtual um the bookings that i have are for a lot of private functions a lot of weddings people still are getting married i guess now is the best time to get married that's right the wedding would be much cheaper you <laughs> yeah have you only have 10 people in the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay okay <laughs> For a man, that is for a man. Now is the best time to get married because the wedding will be a lot cheaper. Right. Um, so a lot of I have a lot of wedding bookings, and then um, a lot of virtual stuff. And I'm also doing my virtual concert Parang with Room on December the twentieth. So preparing for that as well. So it's gonna be different. But as I keep telling people, you could postpone Carnival, but you can't postpone Christmas. It will always be December the twenty fifth. Covid or no Covid. 
and Trinis, when it has when Christmas is around, we have a very unique culture that goes with Christmas that I don't think we explore and sell to the rest of the world in terms of the food, the, the music, the warmth of the people itself is something that um, I truly love that we have here for Christmas. Dashtra, how did this collaboration happen? Well, this was all Rome's brilliant idea, right? So Rome called me one day and he said, um, I have something for you here. I said, all right, cool. He says, a parang, you know. I said, parang? I said, me? <laughs> That's stressing and parang? I said, you sure? Him listen to it first now. Tell me what you think. So knowing me, I like to ponder and stuff and be sure before I make a move because I don't like to make too many mistakes, you know? So when I heard it, I like it. But I try not to see myself in that zone and I wasn't sure. So he says, yeah, man. He says, sleep with a shack shot below your pillow. You can be. <laughs> There's a QOP, but you could be the QOP. I said, nah, I ain't no boy, I ain't no. They take my couple days, yeah. and just when he, 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 he gave up on me, he said, listen, don't worry about it, because, you know, probably another time, because I didn't want you to feel uncomfortable. I said, boy, I was calling you back to tell you yes, boy, but all right, <laughs> if you don't want me to sing it again, all right. <laughs> Who wrote this song, but it was, it was, I, I wrote this song, um, alongside Mevon Sudin, the producer. I know and when, when, mm -hmm. when I was writing the song, I had Destroy in mind because of the type of song it was. It was a Bacchanal song. And I was like, who can deliver this song, boy? Who can bring that Bacchanal element to a param? And a lot of names came out and I, I kind of was fixated on Destroy. So I said, you know what? Let me reach out to her and see what she thinks about it. And as she says, she kind of hem and all about it, but because it was something new to her, I was glad that she grabbed the bull by the horns. And she delivered. Nigel, I don't think anybody else could have delivered the way that Destra delivered on this track. I want to agree with you. And and when I was remember yesterday evening, I was on my way home and the song came on, on 107.7. Mm. And just the subject matter is an age-old matter about who lie more. Men... <laughs> Or women, and then you hear mm -hmm. the red man does lie, this one, police man does <laughs> lie, that one does lie. <laughs> and I say, Wow, brilliant! Brilliance. And it's very relatable with, with everybody down here in terms of what we go through. But only, all right, I know people would see the lying on a, on a negative side, but even you think so? It's uh, it, yeah, we think so. No, no, I'm not being sarcastic, I just I'm not being sarcastic, the, um, I'm actually. It, with it especially around christmas time yeah. is that sometimes we have these little white lies that we would tell as you would hear in the third verse where you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings if they <laughs> if they pass still a little dry or if it's too hard or, or... <laughs> that is a fact sorry, yeah. sorry yeah. that's all right yeah yeah it's true it's true so let's take in the jam right now this is rome and Destra. let's introduce it guys taking off the sweet sorrel rhythm Roman Dasha. It's called Lie, Lie, Lie. Rasta man does lie, Red man does lie, we boy. It's so that's right. DJs does lie too. DJs does lie too. Written by Rome, produced by Mevon Sudi. Explicit, right? Rome, that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, explicit. Mevon, I know Mevon very, very well, and I know that he has been doing a lot of great work for over the years. And of course, to bring Destra in the in the parang fray right now, in the in the, the queen of not only Bacchanal but the queen of parang now. The queen of Bacchanal. Bacchanal. Parang. Parang. Bacchanal. Parang. And this is the sweet sorrel rhythm. Yeah, yeah, so shout out to Mevon and the old team of the Sweet Sorrel Rhythm. We know we have Keegs and Wilkie also on the Rhythm. So shout out to young upcoming guys in the, the, the Soka Parang as well too. So we keep any culture alive, you know, Nigel, because I heard a lot of people saying before that Soka Parang was a dying genre and that a lot of people weren't taking too much interest in it, the younger generation. So we had to keep it alive because it was something that we grew up on. That's the only thing used to help me do all the chores when I had to paint and scrub the wall and put up the tree. It's a parang you would play in the house and it would help you go through the day and, and to, to do the chores. So that's why we want to keep the culture alive. And when I told Destra, that I was like, Destra, you are the person to bridge the gap. Come in. 
And then she said that she has some some um, family in Santa Cruz who has some farang background. So yeah, man. You, you do yeah, that, yeah, sure? Yeah. You have some family? Of course, right. my um my grandparents actually were, were part of a parang band when I was growing up. I have family still in Santa Cruz, you know, and my grandparents are long gone, but nobody really ever picked it up. I remember being a kid and seeing the box bass in the yard, seeing, you know, all the little instruments under the carriage shed, getting ready to go out in the night, you know. So I, I know of it. I, I, you know, I've been around it. I remember I'm also of Spanish. Spanish heritage, and I'm also bilingual too. So you know, it's in me now. It's in me. So I'm at evoking the Spanish destra <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, that's something that we're gonna thoroughly enjoy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Spanish Destra and Rome. Let me thank you guys very, very much for taking the time out for being on yeah, our man. show this afternoon. And bringing to the forefront, lie, lie, lie. This one taking off the sweet sorrel rhythm. Thank you very much, Rome. Yeah. And a, Thanks and a, for having us. And a fine, Thanks for having us. And I finally get Destra on my show. Ask Destra, oh my how, God. Ask Destra <laughs> how many times we must say Destra. I will come back for spice. <laughs> I will come back. But you know, you're lucky that Rome is here because Rome is a buffer. You know, if it was just me alone in Canada and all this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Destra. Thank you very much, Rome, for being on the show this afternoon. All right. All right. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Roman Destra. One question. Lie, lie, lie. Who does lie, boy?